officials tonight, Terry Oglesby, Lamont Simpson, and Donnie Epley. Michigan State has won the last eight in this series. Boy, that was a quick jump there from Marcus Bing. Yeah, usually the ball is supposed to reach the apex for it to be legal. I don't know that it got there. Walker with a quick pull. In and out, but following it up, Max Christie. But the second chance points were a wash. They hung in there and gave themselves a chance on the glass. Good baseline finish from Marcus Bingham. See if they can hang tough here. They've lost eight straight, as I mentioned, in this series. They've struggled in this building, but they've got a 5-4 lead after that three by McGowan. Christie lines it up from the top of the arc. And he has shot the ball really well his last three games. He's now seven of his last 11 from three. And a turnover for Nebraska, folks. These two teams will get up and down the floor. Lad Mayen with a steal. Boy, well, he, he had Alonzo first. Yeah, he did. Instead, Tominaga for three, and that's his specialty. Markedly so for Tom Izzo's crew. Bad pass, and there's another turnover. McGowan's the recipient. I don't know that he needed to do that, but it looked pretty. He saw who was coming. It was Marcus Bingham, and you get a hand on the ball, it's off to the races for Nebraska. Well, Verge is third in the conference in steals, and you're seeing why early as that one rattles down. A great start for Christie. He has seven. Here are the freshmen on each other. Now with five to shoot, Walker, little running hook off the window. Those count. Got taken out of the game by Tom Izzo for a quick teaching moment. Now a leaner, Brown following his own miss, and there's Hauser. And he got the bucket and the foul. They would love to pull the stutter here tonight at number 10, Michigan State. McGowan's fading away and hitting a tough shot. Nebraska trying to add to the early two-point lead. Alonzo Verge leans in. Tough shot. Count it. And the foul on Hogard. And Tominaga off his screen away from the ball. And now it's time to go to work. Look how he puts really that basketball right on the arm of A.J. Hogard. You're almost making him foul you. Goes right up through the arm, gets contact. That was a good look, but Tominaga couldn't get it to drop. Now Hogard behind the back. Dangerous, but somehow he made it all work. Boy, that handle impressed. Seventh in the country at blocking shots. Bingham certainly the headliner, though. Here's Akins off the bounce. Pure. He has struggled, especially from two. And we haven't even played seven minutes. Dumped down inside, beautiful pass, and the finish from Julius Marble. Nebraska started 7-of-7, seven seven, but they've lit, missed their last four shots. And now hold off balance, and the foul on Eduardo Andre. On him, and Malik Hall, it's all about consistency here. He has games where you're like, man, this dude can be all Big Ten. And then games like at Northwestern where you see him play, and he's got four points. And then that one is taken away. A turnover by Christie. Nine of them for the Spartans. And the other direction, nobody stops Kobe Webster. Then you can see right here. Oh, right on cue. Man, oh good. So that's 11 and 21 possessions. That's insane. Inside, Andre, after Marble fell, lays it up. And if you play like this on the offensive end of the floor, you have got to take care of the basketball. Inside, leaning and getting it to go. That was pretty from Gabe Brown. That's a tough shot. I mean, these two teams are shooting it really well. They're just turning it over. Michigan State 10 of 14. Nebraska 9 of 15. Verge to the bucket with a left wow. hand. How Brown coming over, got a piece of it, and then he secures it in the second half to help Michigan State defeat Northwestern on Sunday in Evanston. Kobe Webster, well, you mentioned it. There's another guy coming along, and he hits a three at the top of the arc. Set play, Christie open on the wing, and he knocks it down. You cannot go removed. He is so good coming off that pin down. Brown fakes the pass, nails the three. Christie slings it over to Hogard. Well, Brown was hoping he'd be open instead. Wow, what great ball movement for the Spartans. Right now, it's a 7-0 run, and Michigan State up five. Leaning in, there's an answer from Derek Walker. They, they almost lose on the road in Nebraska. I would probably go Illinois right now, but I think that without Corbello, 
Who knows when he's going to be back? Who knows what it will be like when he's back? So much success under Tom Izzo. Ten Big Ten regular season titles in his first 26 years. Well, that was nice. Oh, man, Derek Walker, what, you talk about improved players. And that one short from Akins. McGowan's oh, off the Great dribble. Take. Ooh, that was tough with a left-hand finish. He's tracking that way again here tonight. and made an impact. Here he is one more time. Right on cue, he's in double figures. Michigan State, you can slip these ball screens. Derek Walker realizing it, but you got to give him some help. How about the block? Oh, my goodness. Wow, Walker knocking that away from Mati Sissoko. There were 49,063 free throws in that game. You're telling me. We have to sit through that and watch that. <laughs> Brown into the shot clock. He hits another one from deep. You have got to take Gabe Brown out of rhythm. Tominaga not able to do it. Gabe Brown makes you pay. He has 211 points now this season, Gabe Brown, and that equals his career high. We've only played 15 games. It's even on made shots, and they were lucky there. They don't give up a three. They're going to get one anyway, though. Brown again, a little too much mustard. Hogard right there, and Hogard puts it back up and in. Driving on Hogard, he lost it. Brown, look at the big fella. Inside of a minute. Now they have it taken away. They hadn't turned it over in a while. McGowan's the other direction, and Brown got a piece of it. They say it's clean. Been a quiet game so far for Mann. He hasn't scored. Meanwhile, Walker's had a great game so far. He now has a dozen. Extra pass. Bingham thought about it. That's a shot a couple of years ago he probably takes. And now a better shot for Tyson Walker. Didn't celebrate, got by right back in the play and played great defense on their point guard to, to really win the game. And I mentioned on the other side here that Lab Man had been quiet, hadn't scored a bucket. Back inside, Marble. Well, they are moving that basketball. And it all ends in a Walker triple. Marble disrupted it, though. Neither team is led by more than five in this game until that very moment. Some hustle plays in there for Gabe Brown. Wiltshire, three from the wing, and he got it. Boy, there is an answer that Nebraska needed. Threw it to the other side of the rim, but able to keep it. Now the shot clock doesn't reset here. And making good use of that Malik Hall. And I hear everybody right now saying, oh, why'd you say that? There's another steal for Bryce McGowan's, and he's all alone for the one-handed flush. Bad pass. Oh, good decision. Tyson Walker read it all along, and he's able to score it through the contact. It's just off balance, and that's such a long pass. Here you go again, kind of in that spot where Michigan State trying to get this to double digits. Lonzo Verge, great pass, Wilcher waited for Hauser to go up, drew the foul, count the bucket. On the other side, this is a pretty exciting player, Max Christie, the freshman. I love him coming off pin down. McGowan's flipped it up, no, able to tap it to Walker though. Walker, yes. That was a pass, I mean, it's a rebound and a pass, but Bryce McGowan's heads up right there, tipping that to Walker. If that had gone, it would have been amazing, but it did not. Webster somehow flipped that up and in. Meanwhile, if he, Brown, was able to throw down that one-hand hammer, and they're up 10, ooh. Now they respond with that bucket by Malik Hall. Hogard finding Hall. He'll take it wide open. Yes! And Michigan State matches their largest lead, and then Walker again with an answer. He's tied his career high with 16 points. It really wasn't a factor off the bench in Knoxville, but he has been in Lincoln. Christie in the corner, book it. I love the offensive execution right there. And it helps when you've made shots, I get that, but... Brown has been so disruptive tonight, and in transition, and again, Gabe Brown. Effort plays he gave tonight, knowing the scouting report, understanding what you're supposed to do. He was terrific. AJ Hogard has had some good moments despite a few turnovers. 12 2 run over the last almost five minutes. A long three, and Webster ends the drought of almost four minutes. And now they get a turnover. Wilcher with Hauser chasing him. And he won't catch him, he puts it up and in. 
more and more comfortable with the game and with college basketball. The sky is the limit for Max Christie. C.J. Wiltshire, sharpshooter, hits it. So Nebraska is not going quietly into the night here. Going to get that 13th win of the year. Gets a 4-0 in league play atop the conference. And for Nebraska, even though Webster's hit some big shots here in the second half with 13 points. Final seconds. Wiltshire contested. Rebound to Christie, and that'll do it. The Spartans stay undefeated in Big Ten play. They win it 79.